board, everybody. This is LHI Magic playing Waves. Uh, this is a a redo, a redux of our Japan start. Uh, I had some really good comments from uh, um, from a uh, pot-bellied slim in the YouTube, and uh, he came up with a couple of great ideas for RP for the Japanese. So we're going to play like that. What he said was, uh, uh, role playing Japan, never disagree with the emperor. He wants a yacht, you build a yacht. He says something about another country, agree wholeheartedly. So I think that's a great, uh, I think that's a great, a great way to go. We're going to do that. Plus we are going to go with our torpedo strong and then aviation strong force so uh torpedo boats or in this case destroyers uh and then when we can get torpedo bombers we'll, we'll uh, follow that chain still do battleships we're a smaller nation so we're going to build less ships but hopefully more capable and go like that so i've started a new I've started a new game, um, and we'll take a look from here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is put everybody on reserve. Need the money. I haven't looked at any of the ships. We'll start with a quick overview of what we have. Shikishima's 19 knots, 12-inch guns, 9.5-inch belt. Not a bad... Not a bad 1900 ship. I'm going to open the design. I think that's probably from, yeah, built in Great Britain. We also have some Mikasas. They're 14,000 tons, so they probably were built somewhere else. We only have 10,000 ton docks. Let's see. They're also built in Great Britain. All right. Still with the 12 inch guns. Uh, nine inch. 9-inch belt, a little slower, but they were a little cheaper. Not too good, too good classes for current. Armored cruisers, we've got one class, the Asama class. Let's take a look. Okay, there's an interestingly oddball choice. Uh, over 300 tons or I'm sorry, yeah, 321 tons overweight, 22 knots, 6-inch guns, double turrets, just, I guess, uh, and, and plenty of 3-inch guns as secondaries. Interesting design, 4-inch belt. I'm not sure we could do better yet, but I think we might be able to. Two Asamas, and we've got, this is good, two classes of light cruisers. This is actually a pretty good AI design. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, uh, the Nani Naniwa class light cruiser, 21 knots, 2-inch belt, 2-inch turrets. Pretty standard light cruiser, 5-inch main gun. And in that uh, standard, for this time, cruiser arrangement. All right, that's a decent ship. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing to write home about, but not a bad ship. And look like we have quality zero five-inch guns, so that's not too bad. Quality zero six-inch guns as well. And then the other light cruiser we have is the Yama. All right, it, they push to get six inch guns on there, keeping it 3,000 tons, two six inch guns, and then four inch guns in turrets. With some weight left, that's, this, this I would almost call, uh, 
a foreign station ship. It's not quite where we want. We'd have to put it on Colonial, but this is, uh, let's just see what that would do. We could almost make it. Drop those to five inches, and that there's our, potentially our Colonial cruiser. At 3,000 tons. It's more expensive. But good morning, Danuk. How's it going? We're, uh, we're restarting J good good we're restarting Japan today I uh, I got some uh, good comment on a uh, happy lunar New Year that's right who's what's uh, is a Chinese New Year start now too as well or something I, th I thought we went or did did was that earlier this year not sure okay and we went we're, what are we now we went from the year of the they changed the name to Lunar. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that way we don't we don't have to say Chinese um, and maybe offend someone. So, excellent. I will use that now. Uh, it's the year of the ox. All right, that's a strong sounding year. That sounds good. Let's see how that goes. The bull. Year of the ox, the bull. Okay. Both strong sounding. Excellent. So anyway, I had a couple good comments in the YouTube, but. Uh, by uh, Potbellied Slim, so we said he said when your RP for your RP ideas for playing Japan, always do what the Emperor wants. If he uh, wants to build a yacht, you build it. If he wants it, whoever he says is a problem, you agree. So I thought that was an interesting way to play. That's what we're gonna do. Keep our uh, keep our uh, play style like that. So just looking through this. The new ships we have, we're, just, we're pretty much figuring they're all going to be very similar. All right, the destroyers, they went with 3-inch guns to get to 28 knots. They used speed. At least they're all medium, normal. I don't like building... I don't like building short-range ships, even though it is efficient. All right, and then we've got an older... Four hundred ton design. All right, that one they went with short, short range and cramp to get the three inch guns in. That makes sense. All right, those are what we'll replace as soon as we can. But right now we are got to build our funds before we do anything else. Uh, research. We're gonna put. I know 12 has diminishing returns, but we're going to go 12 right now. We need guns. We need better guns. We already have an advantage in light forces and torpedo warfare, so I'm not going to up that. I'm going to drop submarines to low. Not really going to use subs that much. Put machinery on high. And we'll put AP on low to make up for that. All right. We're going to go with the Doctrine of Torpedo Warfare. Even though we know it's going to take a little while. Go with that. Hey, good morning, HH65. Thank you for the for the uh, for that. Yeah, the, uh, I try to mix some martial music, some some kind of period music, and and different things. All right, we're all set up here. Can't afford to build a dock. We're not mad. Italy's a little mad at us. I don't know why, uh, but everyone else is fine. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, some of it is definitely change of command music. I do have the Marine Corps band in a, as selected as a few of their things. You know, you got to use what you can get. All right. Getting a little money. I'd like to build docks, but I can't yet. They cost too much. Yeah. 
Italy's tension with Italy is, seems to be going up. I wonder why. Italy s appears to be considering a naval rearmament program. The government asks for your advice. <sighs> Alright. I need money. Can't lose prestige. I gotta take it. I don't wanna I don't really don't wanna fight Italy. This is what happened before we got in a big fight early in the in the game, but that did help my budget by uh fourteen thousand. Alright, I am going to design two things. I need to design a colonial Corvette and probably a uh, a trade protection which vessel as well. So let's quickly do that. The most exciting designing Corvettes. All right, this will be our trade protection ship. One hundred fifty. I, I don't really want to drop it any lower. The five inch guns are helpful. The Asama Maru, and we're going to add the word. Trade. Don't mind the rate of fire penalty. And we're going to design a Corvette. I want to make it 3,000 tons. All right, they're pretty expensive. Basically a colonial gunboat. Four inch guns. Go to five inch guns. Oh, 1800 tons. Interesting. Did that... Is that a recent change? Or did I just miss it? All right, 1,800 tons, colonial service. That'll still... Checking colonial service gives you a 25% boost to your tonnage for your tonnage on foreign stations. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to need some because we're going to try to be strong in Southeast Asia, but not much more. All right, let's see. No, it's not an armed merchant cruiser. What's going on with that? It said 1,800 tons. All right, let's go back and make it 28 and just see. KE can be no larger than 1,800 tons, no more than 2 inches of armor, no more guns smaller than 6 inches, and no torpedoes. It's exactly... It's exactly what we had. No more than 1,800 tons. All right, let's tell you what. Let's go to 1,500 tons. We'll just live with a 15. All right, that's fine. So it really is must be 17 is what it must be. But that's fine. 15 plus a quarter, that's about uh, 400. So that gets it almost, almost 2,000 tons on foreign station. Sama Maru is ready for going to build we're going to start with two of those and we're going to build 12 can we afford it? No, we really can't we're going to build eight of the trade protection birds And that 
it's kind of hurting our budget but our, and now we have enough that we can build some docks we need to get those going government of break has increases naval spending okay unexpected let's take a look at the map we didn't do that before the good thing starting Japan is a hard harder start because it's a smaller country but you really only have two areas you're concerned about Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia and improve the fortification the base on Formosa Just thinking future plans here Let's take a look at invasion rages see what we can do right now the only thing we can invade I'm not sure Hong Kong maybe but we're not gonna fight the British we can uh, invade the Liatong Peninsula I think that's what that's called so we we could fight we're gonna fight anybody it ought to be Russia and historically 1904 that's what happened I don't want to fight Italy hopefully that will one of our minor allies on the Asian mainland is threatened by a neighbor uh, well we're definitely gonna back them on unconditionally trying to gain some more budget we did didn't hurt tension too much Italy and Russia popped a little I don't want to I don't want to add any new ships until I get some technology pops. I can help it. Our relationship with Germany has taken a turn for worse. Our scientists are having trouble figuring out pressure hulls. Rebellion has broken out in the German possession of Caroline Islands. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Caroline's that's the Marshalls is Marks there's the Caroline's called includes truck I'd like to get it but right now I can't, just can't reach it so we're just gonna have to let that sit okay improve machinery improve su surface condenser 1% weight savings that's good Yakumo is commissioned during trials. It has trouble reaching a design speed. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, we didn't look at the other classes we had under. And look at the ones. So the Izumo class, let's take a look at this. Now, it's slower. Rated for 22, but only made 21. Still 6-inch guns. This must be home-built. That's... So Britain has better six inch guns, we have worse. All right. And we've got another one of those coming and our own. A local battleship or? Yeah, 10 inch gun, seven inch belt. I wouldn't really call this a battleship. I'd call it a slow armor cruiser, but it is from our home system and and our home ports that's how you get your uh, that's how you prove your your shipbuilding is by building ships okay our new crews are proficient Prime Minister has made an ill-considered statement about Russia what is your response when asked by a foreign journalist all right this goes along with the RP it's not the Emperor but but the other thing is the Emperor wanted no dissension under him, so I will wholeheartedly agree with the Prime Minister. That's going to push Germ uh, Russia. Again, we don't want to fight them in the first year, but that's going to be where we're headed. The Awate built in Italy has given us valuable insights in Italian fire control. Excellent. Awate is commissioned in the Navy. We've got Krupp armor. We've got a coincidence rain finder. Hydraulic reef recoil. Uh, 11 inch guns. Excellent. All right. So, f our first gun update. We've got a battleship on foreign station, the Shikishima class Fuji, which we're hoping to uh, bring 
bring back. I really don't want tensions to go up too high. Hopefully the Emperor won't cause. All right, our battleship Iki is... Some enterprising young officers in naval intelligence have hatched a plan to blow up one of the capital ships of Italy at anchor. You're asked to give the go-ahead. Underhanded tactics are not the tra in the tradition of our Navy. I gotta say, it's that's not our tradition. We The, the Japanese now especially, where are we, February 1901, so early 1900s, just emerged from isolation, had turned themselves around in, the, in their beginning of their process to become one of the, the biggest, biggest industrial while smallest sized nations. And uh, they were very, at this time still, I think very concerned about how the they were viewed by the West. So uh, blowing up a capital ship would be not something I think they would do. So we're not doing it, although it would probably be a good idea. Prime Minister wants to hold an international regatta with sail, uh, international, international naval gathering with a sailing regatta and competition. This will strengthen our international standing and lessen tensions, but the money to finance the event will be taken out of the naval budget. What is your reaction? Uh, I need the money. Don't want. Although reducing tension, you know what? I'm gonna do that. It doesn't hurt our, shouldn't hurt our budget, but reducing tension a little should be an important. All right, that dropped. Unfortunately, dropped Russia. I wanted to drop Italy. <clears throat> I wonder if we have enough. Now that those have come off, let's design an armored cruiser. Let's see what we can get now. Still doing the same. Okay, I can do an 11 inch armed armored cruiser. Our five inch guns are, our five inch guns are quality zero. Let's look. Just gonna look at the gun data here for a second. So if we go to six inch quality minus one guns at 5,000 yards, they go 2.646 inches, 2.6 inches of arm. And they have a range of 9,200 yards. So if five, this is the only way to get the gun data on this page. So a five inch gun Goes through a little less armor, but almost the same range for quality zero. So it's 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 kind of a wash at this point. And weight savings. All right, eight five-inch guns are 112. Eight six-inch guns are 144. Pretty significant, although future-proofing it when the guns get better I'd rather have the eight inch guns or the, 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 the six inch guns let's see if we can get up to five inches of armor I'd like to get out well, that might be where we have to take might be a trouble see that's minus 66 we've got some torpedoes we do want to leave those can we make it bigger oh yeah no we don't have the docks for it yet that's right that's a, that's our max 
This thing's going to cost as much as our own Iki that we built. But I think it'll be a little more useful. Definitely a fast cruiser. Turrets of four. No extra armor on the secondaries. We've got 95 waiting. Can we get four and a half on the turrets or five? Four and a half looks like it's reachable. All right. At 37 remaining, we could put a nose mount on there. Nose torpedo. I don't know if one will ever use it, but maybe. Might be fun. Guess we got enough room we could do it like this. Expensive. Expensive ship, but I think the eleven inch guns give us a pretty good capability. That they, they uh with the higher range of those guns, they could sit further away. From our battle line, and definitely it's something that would fight other armored cruisers at a range advantage. So, like to get five inches, but I just don't think I can. All right, we're gonna go ahead and design that. I guess maybe we'll call this the Danuke. Start with that. You were first in chat today, Danuke. The Danuke class armored cruiser. First ship being designed by and built by Japan. Building our budget a little bit. New docks are completed. Another ship is completed. French government is offering to sell us AP. Oh yeah, we'll take that. We're going to take pretty much everything we can get. Start building some more docks. I'd like to get those up to about 16,000 before I start on a, a new battleship. All right. Got two Corvettes. One of our cruisers is run on the ground on the shore of a minor nation while performing an illicit intelligence operation. They threatened to impound the ship. Uh, well, we demand they would release and send a strong squadron, of course. All right, we can build larger destroyers. Let's see what that does. All right, well, all the people that don't like us don't like us more. Those two Corvettes are the trade protection ones. But what... Uh, trade protection. They're really uh, foreign station, right? I think. Oh, no. These are the trade protection. Ver okay. Yep. The foreign station ones are a few months. They're bigger, so they're taking long. All right. That makes sense. Six more. Spies have found the French battleship. Four ten inch, eight and a half inch belt, twelve seven inch, twenty knots. So basically, better than our ship in every our our home built battleship in every way. Uh, all right, heavy secondary battery. We can now put secondary guns heavier than heavier than seven inches in casements, casemates, or single turrets. Okay. The Danuk, we're going to build two of those. I always try to build in pairs or fours. 1600. I, I want to see what the Iki that we built. Yeah, that the Iki was 1200. 
so we're building a ship more expensive than a battleship i love it but much more capable um yeah much more capable ship than than this we should consider building some more of those trade protection corvettes build another eight of those and maybe it's time to design i thought we had got four old destroyers let's see what we can do so those are short range and cramped here we definitely want to get rid of them let's design a new destroyer do have 600 tons now all right interesting choice i like the three torpedoes but i don't think we can i think we can do that maybe I don't think, the thing is, I don't think we can do three center line and still get a reasonable crowded center line. Total rate of fire minus 20. Uh, we go to three inch guns, see if that fixes it. Okay, so three inch guns fixes it. Doesn't add anything. We got 21 tons. If we add a forward, it's gonna be crowded again. But I'd rather be crowded with three torpedoes, so I'm willing to live with that. The Fumazuki. to replace four ships right now so that's what we'll build like the tensions to drop a little a spy from Russia here we go <sighs> give it maximum publicity handle it quietly I really don't want to go to war yet a really let's take a look at the almanac though let's see all right russia's budgets double ours their tonnage in battleships is double ours and they've got five buildings yeah we don't want to fight them yet but i need to build my budget I think this is going to send him, send us into war, and I, I really don't want it. All right, let's try it. We'll improve three-inch guns for what it's worth. Okay. All right, didn't quite get there. Cockburn safety valves, one percent weight savings. Figured out luddite bursting charges. I'd like to build a lot more destroyers if I'm going to fight Russia, because that's what's going to be. Private shipbuilding is expanding. Maximum dock size increased by a thousand tons. Nice. A revolution in a Chinese province province has left some of our nationals stranded. What do we do? Send a strong squadron. I'm going to join an international squadron. Okay, that drop tension with a few, but got Russia pretty high we'd like to get we'd like to get Russia a little lower Tata Maru is commissioned Prime Minister wants us to build two battleships I think we can do it and as we know we're gonna do it 
Although this might set us into war. Double bottoms. All right, let's reserve all. I hate to do reserve before a war. Okay, the top. Asama Maru. There are foreign station ships. And now can we return? Is one enough? Alright, I can't wait too long to start these battleships. You can wait a month or so, but the chances of a better uh, tech coming up is not too good. And if you miss it, you lose prestige. So let's design a battleship see what they tell us doing it local got that extra tonnage 13,000 ton ship that's actually pretty good it's actually a pretty good design right there I'm gonna drop the secondary armor down to two they get the benefit of the primary um, of the hull armor. So that should let us get the hull to 10. Turret's already 9.5. Where do we go like 9 and see if we get another knot? That sticks them with our Shikishimas, the the British built ones that did 19 knots. I'd rather have, I'd rather have them a little quicker. 12 six inch guns, 10 three inch guns, normal, normal, medium. Not crazy. All right, I think we can afford to build two of those. It's going to be tight, but I think we can make it happen. All right. Please don't go to war. The Navy League is pushing for more ships on foreign station. Yeah, we're going to work on that. Oh, you're, you're to hold a speech at the annual gathering of the Navy League. What will be the gist of your speech? The seas should be kept peaceful for all nations. I can't lose prestige and budget. We're prepared to safeguard the interests Freedom of the seas is impacted by the imperialistic ambitions of France. Close to mastering improved riveting. Oof. We are. All right. So we do need to put. I think the other one made it, didn't it? Yep. No, it didn't. All right, we need 3,100 tons. If we take that off of... Just want to see. So we need 5,000 tons. Interesting. So... Putting that on foreign station. All right, so we're going to need another one of those. Another two more of the Tatua Marus, at least. So right now, let's put... one of the Yakumos on foreign station. And we're gonna build two more of those larger Corvettes. Yasama Maru is commissioned, okay. Colonial crisis with France. We must safeguard our interest even if it leads to war. It would be best to not go to war right now. 
New area of fleet tactics. Oof. All right, we don't mind if France gets pissed. Our budget's starting to build is exactly what we need. Is we, if we can play this tension game, play the great powers against each other and hold off, we'll be fine. All right. So we added the second Asama Maru. If we put that on foreign station, just want to see what taking that cruiser. I don't think it'll be enough. All right, 12.50, we're getting there. So one more. One more of those foreign station Corvettes. We'll get it there, and then we'll be... And I don't want to fight anybody yet, but we should start spying on Russia. Research breakful and hull construction. 1% weight savings, that's good. Let's see if uh, the, that gave us anything for the Suwo that would help us. Uh, 38 tons isn't enough to, to really make any change. So, we're going to build... This is going to be painful. We're going to build two of those. Oh, it looks like we're going to stay positive. Wow. That that latest round of tension kept us positive. Interesting. All right. Everything's looking good so far. If we can just get this tension to drop. New docks are completed. Power rammers give us a better rate of fire. And we do have submarines. A breakthrough in submarines, not that we know how to make them yet, but we do have a breakthrough. All right, look like tension dropped a little. I'm going to push the dock size. We've met our two battleships requirement. And we're still on a positive budget. Two destroyers are commissioned. I think when those get done, another turn. You know what? I'm going to start four more of those. Boomazuki destroyers. It's going to cost us for a turn until they're they're all ready. But you're receiving much praise for building the requested number of battleships. That gives me a, a prestige. Germany appears to be considering a naval rearmament program. The government asked for your advice on how to react. We should condemn them, of course. Anything to get our budget to go up without starting a war. That's looking good. Five more Corvettes are commissioned. Change of government in Germany has the potential to reduce tensions. You are asked to comment. Fair words, but the policies of Germany have always, always have, and always will be a threat to world peace. We'll observe ten carefully. This is great news. I'm not going to lose budget. As long as we don't lose budget, I don't mind losing tension. Getting close to figuring out the six inch rangefinder, six foot rangefinder. Further distance between the mirrors, the uh, more accuracy that your rangefinder has. Three more Corvettes. New government wants to reduce naval spending in favor of social programs. No, I think this is the age of Bushido. It's time fight that navy league get to work okay we figured out six foot range finders we've got 12 inch guns of course now that we've got two 11 inch guns battleships on the board i think we'll wait when our docks get to 16,000. maybe we'll add another couple of 12 inch battleships take a look at the element back here yep we're falling behind Starting to catch up. Maybe time to 
either build another new class or design another class we need a raider style light cruiser as well but let's let the money build a little bit here during maneuvers one of our ships has opened fire on a fishing boat from Great Britain sinking the boat they were fishing in a restricted area, of course. Wow, we are just twerking off everybody. Gained us a little cash. Oh no, it, we gained some from Britain, but we lost some in uh, other areas, reducing slightly. It's okay though. We're walking this tightrope here. Protests are held in a city demanding an end to excessive armaments. Unrest is only six. Interesting. One of our cruisers is run aground on the shore of a minor nation while performing an illicit intelligence operation. They threaten to impound the ship. Demand they release it. Okay, side drums give us another 1% weight savings. Yikes. Germany is really... Alright, Germany is pissed. We can't get... We don't have the invasion range to get any German possessions, but we may wind up in a war with them. That would be pleasant. The Almanac says Germany is outbuilding us, but they've got a they've got a big northeast uh, uh, northern Europe concern here. No, they've got more in. They've got more by tonnage than we do. That's amazing. Doesn't make any sense. All right, anyway. We don't want to fight. We want this to calm down, but we like the budget. All right, two more turns for a new dock, and then we're going to add two more destroyers are commissioned. Our scientists are well on the way to this. Understanding reliable bursting charges. Excellent. All right, that's second group of new destroyers. So we are going to scrap those 400 ton destroyers. Observe the fleet. And we're waiting for those two Corvettes to get done in a few turns, which will let us take our other cruiser back from forward station. A couple turns, we're going to have to start building something. But we can let it go a few. New docks are completed. We have reliable bursting charges. We will continue to build the docks. Popular protests against the high Navy expenditures. This is getting bad. We either need to go to war or <laughs> we need to either go to war or or uh, reduce our budget here. The Danuk is commissioning a Navy. There's been a rebellion in the Italian possession of Libya. We should support the rebellion. I think so. Just took a big budget hit. 40,000 hit. 30 or 20,000 hit. Second to new class is a few turns away. Yeah, I think that is a much better. Except for the belt size, that's the only thing. But that. 
it can just stand off from our other ships. It's it's really dangerous ship. Yeah, Germany is angry. Everybody, we're, we're trying to ride this private shipbuilding, increase the docks by another 500. French government is interested in buying the rights to safe use arming. Uh, okay. I mean, our scientists report they're well on their way understanding high tensile steel. The rebellion in Cyprus continues. Well, I'm not going to start. Actually, I kind of have to. We're getting, we're past our 50% point now. So that's where they generally start having an issue. So we're going to have to build something. What can we do with the nuke right now? We gain, uh, we only gained 10. Didn't gain very much. Got two battleships building. I think it's a... I think maybe a more capable Protected cruiser, a light light cruiser they call it, but a protected cruiser. Let's see what they do. That's pretty much the ship we already have, just a little faster. Let's let's bring it up to five thousand tons. Can we get three inches of armor? Three inches on the turrets? Nah, maybe not three on the turrets. Let's see if that's still legal. Just overweight. 5,500. Where are we? 5100 is enough to get there all right I think that's a better ship more more belt armor or uh, and two more knots of speed I think than our other yeah our other cruisers are 21 knots so 23 knots you really want a three knot gain over a battle over your battleship fleet for a scouting cruiser we're gonna call this the uh, 65 flyer Because he was second to pop into chat today. Got a few, uh, a few others in there. We'll see who's going to be going to get the next. All right, starting to design that. Tensions are remaining high, but also problems in our home. The nukes finished her workups. The Horai Maru is finished. That'll get us one more. There's an up inter internal upheaval in Bougainville. If we send an expeditionary force, there's a chance we can take it over as a colony. However, this may well increase international tensions. We've never, uh, we've never won. We've never won one of these. Uh, whenever we try it, it always gets worse. But we're going to continue to try. I don't know what the, the, the die roll is on this one. But so far, every time I've tried, I've not taken anything over. Oh, wow. So, there we go. Shows me wrong. Our orders are stored in Bougainville. The place is now under our administration. Yikes. Everybody didn't like that. High strength steels. All right, where's Bogan? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a good one.
gonna improve our base there and I'm gonna build two sets of six inch coastal batteries so I think we're We're in, we're in invasion range of the Bismarck Archipelago here. Not quite invasion range of Guadalcanal. But that was a good that was a good catch. All right, and that means our foreign station requirements are going to go up a little, but that's okay. I'm not going to put anybody there yet. If it goes towards a war, we'll be able to put somebody there quicker than anybody but Britain or France who already have things there. All right. Uh, we did get another... Oh, no. Uh, we did get... An yes, we did get another uh, foreign station ship. Now let's see if that allows us to bring, yep, that gives us enough tonnage so we can bring the Yakumo, Yakumo back to Northeast Asia. The nuke, I'm going to leave you on active fleet and when your partner there gets developed so that your crews will remain in better condition. Yeah, well, those, that's, that is my, right now, that is my most important ship, is that fast uh, armored cruiser, which I, I think if I do go to war with somebody, I'm going to be able to hunt down any of their light cruisers. Generally, the light cruisers at this time are in the same range, 21, maybe 22 knots. So we've got a gun advantage and a speed parity. So that's, that's an important ship to keep right now for right now we'll see later what happens but that's it right now uh kasuga is commissioned figured out active mine warfare rebellion in cyprus continues our latest design this is our our uh, fleet scout i guess we're going to call this the h65 the uh, 65 flyer we're going to build, can we afford, yep, we can afford two of them, I'd like four, but get two. And we do have to burn some more cash. Look at the almanac here, see what's going on. Right, we're still way behind in battleships. Close on armored cruisers. Light cruisers were falling behind, but fixing destroyers. So we're going to add four more destroyers. It's either battleships or armored cruisers that we're going to build right now. I think we're going to add two more. Well, let's just, let's take a look. I'm not sure. We're getting close to the point where we can build a real dreadnought. All right. Interesting. This takes everything that was good about our previous design and makes it worse. All right. <laughs> we... There's no reason not to go up to at least 17,000 tons. This gives us a 12 inch guns. Yet our fleet speed it remains at 19. Eleven inch belt, eleven inch turret. Can we go twelve? 
get 12 12 that secondaries we can reduce to two I think we might even make this be able to make this one a little cheaper when we get around to it all right medium normal normal got tons of weight remaining Twelve inch belt. This is a really nice ship as it is. Drop those to six inch guns. Can we do that? Can we do twenty six inch guns? Yep. And now we can start reducing weight to get it down to That's not a bad design. Basically a 16,000 ton ship. We could add that bayonet mount. Again, we hope we never have to use it. But if we do need the forward, if we do need the forward torpedo, it'll be available. Sometimes you Get a chance to shoot him. Let's see who else we got. Quietly watching. Uh, I see. Atlos in there, so. Call this the Natlos battleship. And Kia Maru is the war party demands action against Germany. All right, that's the war party. Let us strengthen the navy. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a prestige hit on this one to get the budget. Yep, we don't want to fight Germany and Russia at the same time. That's a bad thing. Tension still high. Got hold of the British ship, the battleship Caesar, or 13-inch guns, 10 inch, 10 and a half belt, 11-inch turrets. 18 knots. I think we're mostly faster than everybody we're looking at here. I think we're going to build four more of those 600 ton destroyers. I have a feeling we're going to be burning a lot of those in the war. Saga has finished his workup. There's been an upheaval in Venezuela. USA is sending a force. I don't care about Venezuela, but I'm hoping this only affects the U.S. All right, good. And that should help our budget, maybe. Britain has finally crushed the rebels in Cyprus. The Natlos is ready for construction. We're going to build two of those. Natlos and the Heisen. Let's see, who else? Check in the chat. I guess the second one we'll call... Ugh, Cogs. Alright, that should help keep us from... Rebels in Libya have demanded, defeated the Italian forces. Libya declares independence. Okay, that's fine. Industrial production is soaring as new methods and technologies are introduced. That gave us a 6,000 pop on our budget. And private shipbuilding has increased docks. And we built our own docks. Finished our coastal batteries in Bougainville. Uh-oh. A 
sudden unexpected foreign policy crisis has brought us to the brink of war with Germany. What is your advice on how to handle this situation? They are intent on fighting. The Navy is ready to do its duty. I, I get, uh, how can I not? Oh, I thought I saw that. Made unexpected advances. Oh, central firing. Just as soon as we're going to go to war. some more of our foreign station corvettes ten more of those I think put everybody on active duty uh, we have another Ship, which could also be put on trade protection right now because we don't need it for form station. All right, let's take a look here. Germany can invade us, they've got an armored cruiser and a light cruiser. We have to put some ships down there to defend against that. That's the only location. So we're going to send a fleet to the South Pacific, some sort of fleet. That's going to consist of the Iki. Don't want that anywhere else. Two Asamas. Two of our Yayamas. of our older destroyers. Fleet to South Pacific because we fear there might be a, an invasion down there. Now, in Central Pacific, Southeast Asia, uh, there's nothing really threat-wise to work. All right. Build some docks. Got what we got under construction. Nothing we can do. We go to the war with what we have. All right. So we do need to put our Corvettes on trade protection. That gets us that covered. Uh, the other... Th were these the... Yeah, these were the six and twos. I'm going to put the Azumos on Raider. And let's see what happens. Cruiser action against Germany. Okay. I am willing to fight this battle. Hopefully we get it, the Danuk in here. That would be nice. Nope. All we have is our... Uh, one of our... 3,200-ton light cruisers. Still, it's got the 5-inch guns. Not a bad ship. It is... Night. And the weather's bad. Good start. Unknown ships sighted. Please shoot him. Hit by a torpedo and sinking. Okay, well that was very that was sighted. We're going to have to return the favor if we... We're going to have any chance here. No 
up, don't. Oh, his rudder got hit. Ugh. Wow, we're just getting just hammered on this. All right, maybe get a torpedo shot here. There's friendly ship in a line of fire. Please show me. Oh, oh, I see. He's already. Oh, Kazi, let's see. Can he fire torpedoes at range zero? Oh, he already did. Out of arc. Another one wiped out. Maybe he can fire now. Oh my god. Chikozi's sinking. This is just a... This couldn't go any worse. It's not possible that this battle could go any worse. Chikazi is not going to be able to even reach him. Chikazi's sinking. At this point, we just lost, basically just going to lose four destroyers. Wow, that was as awful as you can get. All right, bad luck on getting a torpedo hit on the tor on the cruiser on the first round, but still, that was just uh, unbelievable. Wow, we lost pretty much our entire fleet. They lost nothing. And that, folks, that's how you play the game if you want to lose. <laughs> Cruiser action again. Maybe German Navy declines. Okay. Enemy coastal raid. Let's hope we sortie with something besides a cruiser. Oh my god. Two light cruisers again. They are, yeah, they're up in there, so they would have to come from this way. At least it's going to be daytime, for whatever that's worth. Unknown ship is sighted. Let's see what we have now. All right, we've got two light cruisers with eight five inch guns. Don't yet know what they are. There's a couple of, oh, there's an armored cruiser. Bertha class. Oh, it's a light cruise. Ten four inch guns. Alright. That we can fight. That's a destroyer. We don't know what the other one is. This is a fair. This is a more fair battle. They don't want to fight it. Let's 
still don't know what that light cruiser is. This is a little better anyway. I had a personal morale hit after that last battle. Okay, we're able to hit their destroyers. And that's an Amazon glass cruiser. Let's see what that it is. Ten four inch guns. Two inch belt. Yeah, that's a ship we can defeat if we could catch. Same speed as us. Got him in rain. A lucky hit would make a big difference here. going 20 knots we're currently still doing 21 so we are closing slightly on him he might have just turned caused that it's just a pure luck game at this point although wait a minute looks like they're they've slowed to 15 knots did we get a few hits let's check the log here No, no hits yet. Ah, interesting. And they're allowing us to close. There was a hit. Five inch hit. Five inch hit. A six inch hit. I guess the game felt pity on me after the last round. Still going 15 knots. Just got to watch your destroyers, make sure they don't get caught at us. But still going 15 knots. I think we could probably close here. Another hit. Five inch hit. Maybe another five inch hit. Yep, another five inch hit. It's got to be getting. That turn was a bad idea for him. Get the wind lining. Help our fire.
gonna go and case those destroyers, pump some torpedoes out. Early gunnery. Early gunnery is just not exciting. She's doing 15 knots. We're probably 18 or 15. Our, our grates are fouled. Our stokers are about to get worn out. Try to rake her stern. I want to stay on a set course to get my gunners a good chance to get some good shots in me here. Now, and we'll follow her around. She's going to run into shore. That's a good thing. All right, she's got a turn. We know we can see that. They run into land here, we've got a good chance. Pressing her against the shore. Doesn't want us to close range. Oh, there we go. All right. I think we're gonna have her now. I've got you now, Amazone. I've got you now. Try to not hit the island. Slow to 17, improve our gunnery a little here as they tighten closer. See if we can get a torpedo shot. I think we could here. I guess we're just not turned it. This, yeah, it won't let us. All right, hit on a DD. That was a good thing, a five-inch hit on a DD. We took a hit. Put another hit on that DD. This is just Torpedo City. Less than 20% ammo left. Really want to hit that destroyer. Can't tell how badly this guy's hit. Taking medium damage. Well, now it's calling it light damage. But I think it's time to send our destroyers in.
closing slowly. Alright, this is a little better than last time. They don't have a lot left to shoot with. guys to fire torpedoes. And Kazi maybe? This is a little risky. Kazi. Couple torpedoes. That means we're going to get out of there. Alright, the Amazon was hit by two. Let's see if the Sawakawi could do Kawasakawazi. Or and maybe another hit and another hit that is going to be the game folks i think on that one we'll put up the flotilla attack flag but i think it's all over maybe we can hunt down that deep yeah, i don't think so This one might be damaged. Yep, 20 knots. We are closing on them slowly. Go. We've opened up our broadside. I, I, I'm sure our forward guns are empty. Just a lucky hit would be enough. Uh, well, there goes night coming in. Don't really want to follow them in the dark, or maybe it's just oh, it's just overcast. We got time. That's going to do it. Head back toward. Ozzy, what their, their cruiser was just to see if it's still above the wall. Alright, we sunk one light cruiser and two destroyers. A little bit better than the last time. They didn't sink any merchant ships. That. Puts a positive spin on things. Got 13 inch guns. Interesting. Okay. Japanese raider sinks one ship. German raider sinks three ships. So. Uh, 
war is broken out between Japan and Russia. Okay, here we go. Well, that means the worst part is victory points reset to zero. Luckily, it wasn't too strong. Uh, maybe that'll help our budget. But now we're fighting Russia, too. Let's put uh, that on high. See what happens. Cruiser action with Germany will accept. They decline. The enemy. Uh, I can't. I can't lose prestige. But we can fight on if needed. Compromise peace. There'll be no annexations. All right, that's fine. That was good. That was actually a good war. We. We demonstrated what we can do. I'm sorry that the Danukes didn't get into it, because I know I could have killed some cruisers with them. Um, but... But we did a very good job of getting everybody... Back to Northeast Asia. We'll have to watch our tonnage on foreign stations. We can go uh, 10 months, and let's see where we're at. All right, the battleships will be done within a few months. That'll clear that up. I think we'll be under control. But you what? Scientists have made unexpected advances in ship design. We could do three centerline turrets. All right, well, we can now make... We just got 13-inch guns. We can now make centerline turrets. We can make a uh, an actual battleship now. Let's take a look at what one... That's not the way I would build it. I would build a... There we go. That's what I would build. Thirteen inch guns. Got twenty thousand tons. Let's see if we go to twenty thousand tons, can we get the belt to eleven, the turrets to twenty? 12, turrets to 11, belt to 12, belt to 11 and a half, secondaries we can up to about two, I can get the diesel belt of 12, maybe we'll, maybe we'll make that our standard 12 inch belt. Add the Samurai forward torpedo, the bayonet mount. Ten six inch, tw uh, 26 inch guns, 10 3 inch guns. quite get oh it'd be nice to get 21 knots you know we don't have uh steam turbines yet that's what it is is the machinery's holding us back but that keeps us 19 knots it's an expensive ship three turns we have a battleship come off three more we have another one all right let's and i think this is going to be the weasel class Battleship. Uh, yep, we're going to improve the fire control. Upheaval in Iceland. Germany is sending a force. What should we do? Push for an international. Germany reluctantly leaves Iceland alone, and they get pissed at us, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, our budget is got crushed. 
I mean, we're just staying the lowest budget in the game. This is a really, this is tough. All right, well, got to live within our means. I'd like to update the fire control on everybody else. But I really can't afford to right now. We've got to get a couple ships turned out. Got a hold of the West Fallen. Four 11-inch guns. 14 7-inch guns. 9.5-inch belt. Well, our new ship can beat that. Our old ships can probably beat that. I'm not worried about it. Three destroyers are commissioned. That's right. We want to get orc destroyers going. We did lose a couple. Uh, but, again, we've got to wait. It's, it's a case of money. The Awani is commissioned. Suo could be completed with the best fire control. Yep, we'll do that. Another round of fighting is broken out in the Balkans. Seems impossible to stop the fighting in this region. It's no doubt the fault of... Do that, it doubles the tension on an individual. Uh, I wouldn't mind fighting Russia, so we'll call it Russia. Weasel is ready for construction. I don't think we can afford two of them, but we're going to take two of them. I have to pause one of them. Colonial crisis with France has arisen. You're asked for your recommendation. We should safeguard our interests, and if it leads to war, so be it. Good. Getting some, slowly getting some budget back. Hopefully in time here. We really need a few ships to pop off the queue here. All right. Suo is commissioned. Got holds of the battleship Borondino. 10-inch belt, 10-inch turrets, 12-inch guns. Very standard. 20 knots, so that's nice. Quicker. Russians always seem to build faster ships. I don't know where they... Uh, I don't know where they compromise to get the speed. 13,900 tons. Let's see if we can build this design. So it's 13,900. They go 20 knots. Four 12-inch, 12 6-inch, tw 6 4-inch, 10 on the belt, 10 on the turrets, 8.5 on the conning tower. I don't know. Central firing. An agent, one of our agents has been caught in Germany. Well, make him a national here. Let's just as a... Uh, Exercise. The twelve inch guns. Thirteen thousand nine hundred. Twenty knots. Ten inches on the belt. Ten inches on the turret. I think it was four and a half on the 11 on the conning tower. Let's clear those. They were... S eight six-inch guns. And four, th three, four, or four four-inch guns. All right. Unless I have something wrong here, I can't yet build that ship. Anyway, just an exercise for the reader. Sometimes that's a good way to see where your tech is compared to someone else. All right, we got a little budget problem about to kick up. Where are we at? Seven months. You get all those off, that's not going to be enough to help us. Uh, we're going to have to slow down the second weasel. In fact, I'm going to rename that second weasel. Uh, let's see who's still here. Commander Root is still here, so I know you're hiding there, Commander Root. We're going to rename that.
Commander Root. And we're going to halt construction on it for a couple turns. The docks are completed. Baffled by high capacity pumps. They're like regular pumps, but they have more capacity. I know, that's a weak one. Three Corvettes are commissioned. Uh, one of our major shipyards wants to build another. Yeah, we'll do it. Ugh. Uh, the new one's going to be called the... We're going to call this the... Uh... The Dextoro, after another fruit. In a crisis in China, we need to send a force. We should send a battleship, because we're about to get hammered on. Budget? Oh, looks like we might be fighting Germany again. Can't afford to halt these for too long. 50,000 has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not build a battleship, you may come, become a focus of displeasure. Oh my god. Seven Corvettes are commissioned. Prime Minister, can you guarantee a victory over Germany? Yes, of course. Oh my god. All right, well. Must have six battleships building. We've got one, two, three, four, five... Uh, or battle cruisers. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to do a battle cruiser because we're gonna have to do something. Those are two thousand. Our old battleships are seventeen hundred. Let's see what we can do if we do a battle cruiser. <laughs> no, twenty-four hundred. No, oh, that's the wrong way. Let's go to our eleven-inch gun. Let's build a true battle sh battle cruiser. Of the I'm gonna add a Let's see how that looks. Doesn't look too bad. It's 2300. Now let's drop the weight to get it down to what we can do. Twenty two hundred for a battle cruiser. All right, I can't. I can't bring myself to do that. I'm going to have to build a smaller battleship instead. Let's see. We'll go with a 12 inch gun. It's 1900. Sticking with our 19 knots, we can actually drop some weight here. Get it down to 1800 a turn. I don't know, for, for 150, is it worth compromising on the guns? I don't think it is. Nope, we'll just build another weasel class. And we'll try to figure out why we're out of money. Well, maybe to appease Russia so they won't join in, we'll call this the Catherine.
halt another one. Prime Minister's returned from a state visit to Germany, bring home a proposal to solve our outstanding source of tension between our nations. What is your response when asked for advice? We can never trust Germany to keep agreements better armed for conflict and beat them soundly, or we should promote better understanding. Uh, double our budget, just about double our ships but they do have foreign service requirements or much more to cover don't want to reduce my budget no we can beat them medium wing turrets oh nice okay 10 inch 10 inch wing turrets well US government wants to sell us quality control for armor, yet we do want that. Japan and Germany are now in a state of war. Surprise invasion? Yeah, let's do Kichanu Bay. They've got Ugh, they've got one. I don't really think that they have an armored cruiser and two seaplane tenders, since nobody knows what a seaplane tender is. But we'll accept this. Yes, we'll mobilize. We've got uh, our older cruisers. We've got our... Older battleships. And hopefully some of our newer and we do have some of our newer destroyers all right well I am gonna take charge of them Well, we're definitely going to shoot that. Well, I think the other destroyers will handle that just fine. Get these guys in. In the port to see if there's anything. Destroyers? I don't really want to shoot destroyers. Mikasa Mikuzi. Let's see if you can get it. Go into that one right there. Right, we want to shoot at that cruiser. Anybody else get him? Low shots, but he's not going to get underway very quickly, so this should be a good chance. All right, there we go destroyed that one. That's about the best we're going to get. Is this really a battleship?
got one hit. That, that, I believe, a friendly ship is in line of fire. Torpedo hits torpedo net. Interesting. Let's see if we can get one more into that thing. Or, I guess, in this case, get one into it. Not quite. Oh, it's just a light cruiser anyway, but... Hit twice. Let's put these guys on AI control, and we are going to take over these fellas. We're going to try to finish off that other light cruiser. Oh, it's just barely getting under. Hey, Weasel, while you were gone, we made a uh, ship class called the Weasel. The first uh, Dreadnought battleship, so see how that does for you. Okay, the Hamburg's hit by another torpedo. Let's see if we can get a few more into it. Finish this thing off. It was hit once more. I guess the best bet is to just get a couple more. Can he get one? That light cruiser before it goes away. I think he might be out of arc now. No, okay. Second guy, maybe. Hit again. Two misses. Well, we will. That guy's in bad shape. Let's let him run away. He's used all of his. All right. They're back on AI control. Let's see if we get, oh, those were all misses. Oh, well, okay. Oh, that did sink it. All right. 
I don't think there's any reason to stay in here any longer. Let's turn off the flotilla attack. We sunk an armored cruiser. And a light cruiser. And we're about to just wail on an armed merchant cruiser. Let's even fire torpedoes at him if he can. That might be fun. All right, he turned. And I think that's the end of that thing. On fire, heavy damage. I think it is time to depart the scene and head back towards Japan. That's a destroyer, that's not a lake. It says light cruiser again, I don't know. believe that it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was a destroyer. Time to leave, guys. It's just destroyers you're fighting with. There, just we did the damage we could do. We got an ar armed cruiser and a uh. Killed an armored cruiser, a light cruiser, a destroyer, and two auxiliaries for the loss of a destroyer. So that was a good. That was a good start to this war. Gained a prestige, gained some. And we probably torqued off Germany. Let's see where we're at numbers wise. I only wish it was in invasion range. That would have been perfect. Yep. All right, we better, how about, can we invade down there? We can, can't we? All right. Let us do the same thing. We're going to move our ships. Our old locally produced battleship. Two of our local cruisers. Two of our light cruisers. Four of our destroyers. We're going to move them to... Northern Pacific. I think that's what it is. Oh, so, no, South Pacific. That's what I thought. Move to South Pacific. We are going to put all of our...
afraid protection. Corvettes on trade protection. Gives us a big punch on our ASW as well. Oh yeah, let's see. Ships under construction. It's the battleship Weasel, which uh, you, if you were gone, here's what it's going to look like. Six 13-inch guns. First true dreadnought battleship. 26-inch guns. 12-inch belt. 12-inch turrets. 19 knots. Not quite the HMS dreadnought due to the speed issues. We don't have... Uh, we don't have... Uh, turbines or small tube boilers yet so but yeah that's for this for 1904 pretty good ship and we've got we've actually have three of them building uh and i think we can actually halt them for uh, or resume them we've got three of them building because they bought the they the japanese people donated money to build another one so uh, all right. Let that go a turn. I, I'm going to try to invade the Bismarck Archipelago, Archipelago once we have those ships down there. So we'll see what happens, what, German, what Britain does. Small engagement. I'll accept. They decline. Coastal defense. I'll accept they decline. They got nothing left since we killed their two uh, heavy fighting in Kachao Bay. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. We sunk an enemy sub. Nice job. And let's see. Do we have our... No, nope, our forces have not reached there. Now they're in Southeast Asia. We'll give it another turn. Cruiser action. They declined because they don't have any cruisers there yet. Our ship, the H-65 uh, Flyers, commissioned in the Navy. During the trials, it's found it's tough to reach its design speed. A little slower. That's okay. Our forces have taken control of Kichau Bay. Excellent. Enemy has three operational subs. So we gained a territory that wasn't even in our... That one wasn't even in our invasion range. That's beautiful. Let us build two six-inch fortifications there right away. Oops. And we're going to improve that base. Well, we're burning through money like mad here. But that overseas possession helped us out. All right, let's see where... Okay, we're now down here, so we're going to set them as an invasion target. Cost us a little bit more money. Oof. All right, we can go two turns before we're going to need to s slow things down here. Chisima is commissioned. Invasion is delayed due to unfavorable weather. That's okay. German sinks. So they've got a armored cruiser in in the northern in the northern in, in northeast Asia now. So let's put two of our armored cruisers on. Raider to try to thwart that. Coastal raid? Yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to guess that we're going to be able to do this. Destroy the bombardment target. Alright, it got our armored cruisers. These are the six inch gun armed ones that were built in England. I don't think they have that much here. 
so I think this should be a reasonable thing to do. That was just the... When it should said ship sighted, it was the... Uh, Oh, there is one ship defending it there. That's fine. Just don't want to get hit by it. That is not... It really is a battleship. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, let's take a look. Four 9-inch guns, 18 knots, 9-inch belt. Alright, how are we going to play this? take our cruisers away and have our destroyers move in. We can live through the storm. Oh, no, don't turn off. Got it with one. What's going on over here? Okay, they're doing their job over here. maybe ah because he can't do it but the minkazi Hakazi, he definitely has. All right. That's the end of you, so you might as well. It's going to have him go five knots and turn away at this point. Oh, he missed. Come on. Why is that out of arc? Come on. Now's your last chance. Fire. All right, hit again. Kazi is sinking. Can they get one last torpedo off? Yes. Time to build some destroyers. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see if that... I'm going to go slow on this because we want to see what happens with that. Oh, he turned away. Nope, he dodged. 
He is definitely not in good shape, though. He's taken three torpedoes. All of our guys are heavily... Heavily wounded. I don't think that battleship wants to fight anymore, though. That was worth it, even if we don't sink him. We may send the... We may send the two light cruisers at him now. If they get this job done here, they gotta get some hits on this. Alright, let's slow down to 10 knots. I'm not forgetting mission. All right, we've got a few hits on it. Heavy damage, I think one or two more is gonna do it. Got our one limping one chasing the Oh, I'm really tempted to send my armored cruisers up there. Two more hits. Let's see if these guys even... They do have torpedoes. Another hit. Come on, finish him off. Couple hits. Number of hits there. Yeah, that was quite a fight there. Those destroyers, three destroyers. Two of them paid the price, I think. Yep. Well, no, one of, one of them still... Let's keep having him. I really don't... <laughs> thing is, if you keep... If you keep shadowing them, they have to keep going at maximum speed to try to run away. Namikaze seems like she's back in the action now. Alright, we've destroyed that up. Bomb target. Let's head over there and just take a look. Is he even shooting at him? He is. Oh, just took another hit. He is shooting him. It is heavy rain, which is good for us. Just want to sh shadow him. If we could jam these two cruisers in on one pass and live get a couple more torpedoes in him. That could be... Alright, the Hakazi sinking. They did their job as a scout. Yep, we'll pick up, absolutely pick up survivors. Here we go. Well, how are we going to cover this? All 
right, the shot, but no hit. Now we've got the same problem as the destroyers catching up is token I was hit by a to oh they must have a stern tube uh well that changed the go to five knots and turn away let's see they definitely don't have two stern tubes though Asama it's up to you Port is expended. Starboard is what he has. Oh, they hit. Interesting. Still can't shoot a torpedo. We're on fire. That was a lot worse for us than for him. Barely answering the helm. Wrong side, we need the other torpedo. Well, Namikaze, you have two torpedoes left for the Emperor. Imagine these Germans are like, is this ever going to end? Uh, Namikaze sinking. Can they get a shot in? I don't think so. Yep, out of arc. All right, everybody, let's just see what happens. Tokenawa. He's going five knots and he had a, bu a bulkhead rupture. Let's slow down to zero and see what happens. I want to see if they're going to make it. Their limit flooding. Let's just have them go one knot just so they can make way. Asama fires raging out of control. I think we're going to lose the Asama. Wow, what a fight. Oh boy. Kind of fits with the Japanese RP here, but scenario we're in. We lost an armored cruiser, three destroyers. They didn't lose that battleship. Heavy damage. Pretty fair. I want to see what that Weisenberg. Nine inch belt. Oh, only one torpedo. I thought the other one hit it. That's what the problem was. We needed one more torpedo into that thing. Although she was still flooding, she would have eventually gone down. We just didn't have anything to keep dogging her. Still a victory for us. Still haven't learned steam turbines. And that's been a couple hours, folks. I think we're going to uh, stop right there. That was an interesting fight. i got to decide if I'm going to send some more things to the South Pacific. Germany claims to have no battleship there. I, oh, I, you know why? Because it's out of service for a, a few months while it gets repaired, probably. Um, 
but they are they have five battleships in Southeast Asia so probably moving towards us or towards there but great game a lot of fun today thank you everybody for watching thanks we had a bunch of people in the chat a lot of talking it's good to see I uh, will be back on Monday we'll hopefully next Monday we'll finish up Shadow Empire Monday or Wednesday next week I think we can finish that and that will decide what we're gonna do next but I like this idea I like playing the uh, Japanese in in rule the waves too with this uh, RP style I like it very much thanks again for watching have a great weekend this is LHI magic saying good day <laughs>